Could the time be stopped, please, so that... <laughs> yes, we are, uh, we are going to interrogate the figures that were used here to attempt to mislead this court. I'll begin by asking the officer to play the slide number six. That slide that contains results, when, we, when I looked at it and my other co-petitioners, we found that the maths did not add up. And that for us was a smoking gun because figures don't lie. So, and it, I would also ask the court to realize that the comments we made about that particular result have not been challenged. That when you add the totals for the individual parties, you don't get the total ascribed. But the total ascribed is available in the workings and the affidavits of the members of the commission. Which means we are dealing with, with fiction. I would request that you go to slide number slide number five. And honorable, uh, the honorable judge asked, how are these things trans transmitting? So when you look at the fact that at 17 hours, we had 21 million 481,652 uh, voters or returns which had been made and we factor into the when we try to calculate the average number per, per, the average number per voting station we were told we were given 46,299 polling stations if you divide 22 million 120, 458 by 46, 299, you arrive at an average figure of 478, which is not very far from when you take 65% of 700, which is the maximum number you can have in a polling station, you end up with 455. So when you now come and using the 478, which is the average you have had, and divide 21 million 481, 652 you get 44,962. From paragraph 29 of Mr. Chibukati's replying affidavit, the figure he gives is that 45,994 kids reported. Now, from this, you already see that if the kids were 46,299, and 45,994 had reported, you are only left with 305 kids. These are kids which had connected, so the question of saying that these kids were looking for connection is not there. These kids were connected and they discharged their mandate. And you have been told here that there were some kids in Eldoret were pinging the same, we were sending results from Eldoret, I don't know, from wherever, one kid being used. So at that time, you get that the 305 kids, which may not have had network, if you multiply that figure by the maximum number of votes available, you will find that the 700, if you multiply that, you'll get a figure of about 213,500 votes. That's the maximum that could be transmitted, not 2 million votes. And also, if you were event by my working of 133, 1,337 kids, then the, total, the maximum amount you could get is 638,806. So the, the Kim's kids that transmitted are not these ones that reported that that time. But the data, the fact that they held so much data was mined. So somebody could transmit remotely, mining the data that was already reported in these polling stations. And that's how the fraud happens. For the workings on slide number two, 
Well, you can clearly see that if we use the 21481652 of the baseline and the 12,065,803 as the baseline, you find these workings coming out and you can see that 1.6 million votes are being submitted between 17 hours and 2.045 and on and on. But most important, even if we are to buy the idea that they were connecting, you have got 508, 647 ballots on page three, slide three, which transmitted after a period of three hours and 45 minutes. So those particular transmissions of 508,647 are a figure that is very curious because if you deduct the tally for Eldas from this figure, you hit almost the exact figure that Mr. Willis, uh, Land Council Willis, has presented to this court coming from the KPMG audit that they don't kind that number of voters, there was a ghost, number of ghost voters equivalent to that one. When we go to the other thing that supports our position, there was a question of what was the denominator used for voter turnout. I would, I would invite you to look at my, my at the petition at page 41. There's a letter, a press statement signed by Mr. Chebukati, saying that he used he used the National Voter Register to calculate. And if I may just read it quickly to the court. So page 41 is 141. It says paragraph two. At around 4 p.m., 12,069, 8 or 3 registered voters out of 22, 12,065,803 voters out of 22,120,458 had cast their vote. This equates to 56.17% of voter <laughs> you, you will refer to the slides. So, when I look at that, you will find that there is no basis for claiming that the figure that uh, we claiming that the Kim's kids were used as the, the as the denominator. It's not possible, and it's not there. Also, I would like to this court to take note of how the percentages are being played with that slide number 10. You will find that whereas the chairman is reporting, reported 12,065,803 people voted at, who voted represented 56.17 of the total registered voters of 22 that, at paragraph 26 of the replying affidavit, Mr. Sunkuli, using the same number of voters, 12,065,803, but as reported by the chairman, but again it's a different number as a denominator, he arrives at the same percentage. So there you can see how they can play with numbers you, by changing the denominators and achieving, arriving at magical figures. So my members of the Honorable Court, my prayer is that, my submissions are that this, these figures are cooked, they were worked backwards to achieve a certain, a certain uh, figure, but fortunately on the Form 34C, the smoking gun is seen. And since figures don't lie, and if the math doesn't add up, then this court should quash the results. We were told about military precision. Military precision is the ability to shoot a bullet with a bullet. That's how a missile downs another missile. That is not what we are seeing here. There's no military precision in these figures.